Hi Gordon, I was just going to conclude uh, after you have watched these videos, I want to thank you for watching them and seeing us document our daughter's true functioning. Uh, in conclusion, uh, when I received the assessment, the ONA, from the caseworker uh, and the assessor, I was totally shocked. Uh, shocked in as much as the individual identified in that assessment was not my daughter. That was not charisma, it was someone else. I almost looked for another name and expected to see someone else's name on that assessment that the wrong one had been sent. When I realized that wasn't the case, I realized some other things, and that was that whomever created that created a false reality based on their own uh, ideas, not on uh, our comments, not based on Christmas a and from the previous year, not based on any interview with us or anyone else, including the employer of record. It truly reflected the functioning of another person. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that yes, we wish Chrisma was functioning at a much higher level as most parents would. Uh, that is not the case. She functions at a very low level and as such those uh, scores were false and fabricated. Uh, we have some suggestions that we'd like to make following our experience uh, that you can take into consideration and into your meetings while this tool is continually uh, being developed. One is that uh, families be required uh, or the brokerages and or counties be required to provide families one week in advance the ONA scores so that a family can look at those, review those, and contest them if they want before it becomes final. Without requesting. Uh, without requesting. We had to request three times in order to get ours. Had we not requested the ONA, uh, we would not have had any idea as we went into an ISP of what that contained. So that's number one, that uh, it be made available to everyone one week in advance. They have a chance to contest it. Uh, the, the family is allowed to provide a video such as these, perhaps not in such depth, but a video and or personal examples. Have the assessor come out and observe the person doing the tasks that they uh, scored them on. It's absurd to me that someone could come out uh, for such a short period of time if the family contested uh, that and them think that they knew better than a family who had been with that individual for 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, in truth, that assessment, when I looked at it, um, I think a eighth grader that spent an hour with our daughter would be able to do a better job. It's sad to say, uh, but they would see what her level of functioning was and how dependent she is. That was not the case. Uh, next, case managers and personal assistants should not be present at the assessment. Uh, my understanding was it was to move away from their biases and prejudices and such, and so their presence is not something that we would uh, want and had experienced that in a negative way and that they be present, uh, they not be present uh, during the ONA. Uh, the other thing is on the wheelchair category, they indicated that uh, Charisma could utilize her wheelchair with maximum assistance. It should have been dependent. However, for other people in terms of self-propelling a wheelchair, some people can, and that needs to be clarified. It stymies me that all of the uh, responses are exactly the same uh, for every single question. Uh, some of those need to be changed. That's one that's blatant. Uh, perhaps it could be zero to 25 feet, 25 to 150 feet, more than 150 feet, or dependent totally on others such as Charisma. There were a few others as well that the uh, maximum assistance and dependent did not make sense. Uh, the next one is that uh, families uh, get to be able to be asked every question. That's a requirement that every question on the assessment be asked that they don't assume, make assumptions, create their own conclusions without asking the family the question or the individual. Uh, and then we recommend that the uh, finalization uh, of all of this is a survey be sent out prior to it being concluded and uh, determined to be viable and uh, get through the federal court. And that is that families such as us be surveyed uh, with a survey of 15, 20 questions about their experience. Was it accurate? Did it reflect your loved one? Did it reflect their functioning? all of those kinds of things. Uh, that would be very valuable because I know we're vocal, not everyone is, and you may not have that feedback without a survey tool. And finally, the simplified things have the ONA have page numbers so that people can reference those page numbers. Currently there's categories with sub uh, headings and such, much more difficult than saying, please refer to page 26 uh, and category five. So that would be our recommendations. Uh, we had a very negative experience that still 
dumbfounded that uh, something like that, a tool that's supposed to be an improvement, did not do as good of a job scoring her, or the individuals doing the scoring did not do as good of a job, and we have hope in the future that that ONA can be improved, modified, and rules set in place so that something doesn't happen to other families now or in the future that has happened to us. Thank you, Gordon.